The liberal leadership thing is falling on dull times. It has less plot than a Mike Holmes makeover, less tension than a rerun on the Fireplace Channel. There may be some other means to drain any semblance of drama and substance from this parade, for it is surely not a race. But I can't think of what they might be. To perk it up, well, perhaps if Michael Ignatieff, remember him? He staged the most sudden and complete departure in Canadian public life since the disappearance of the Franklin Expedition. Well, if Ignatieff tried to come back, but I don't think he will. Or if Bob Ray, the only effective leader the Liberals have had for some time who lost one try for the top, was finessed out of a second deserved try and is now sidelined during the current charade, if he somehow managed to jump in, it had perked things up. But it's not likely. So where are we with this creature that is not a contest, but a display case for a man with a humongous Twitter following and extraordinary celebrity? Outside of Rome, we're seeing the closest thing to a canonization that can exist. But while the Vatican stuck with smoke signals over in liberal land, someone put up the white flag. The only person who put a minimal challenge to Mr. Trudeau, Marc Garneau, has not only backed out, but warmly, fulsomely, with the widest of wide hearts. Now endorses the guy a couple of days ago he said was untested, unknown, and by implication, a great risk. Now Paul, on the way to Damascus, could at least claim he was knocked off a horse before his conversion. Mark Garneau looked at the numbers. All, all the rest of the field combined have less than half Mr. Trudeau's support. And yet Mr. Trudeau asked or demanded a delay in the day of voter registration. A candidate so far out front that he has double the support of all the other candidates wants a delay in voter registration. For what possible purpose? Candidates without support ask for delays. A foregone conclusion doesn't need any time to mature. Well, I guess it's to pump up the margin at the end, seeing as how this play is all Hamlet and no one else. But to what end? Is it to make the Liberal Party as synonymous as possible with its star? To merge the persona of Justin Trudeau and the idea of the Liberal Party into a single element? Investing in a magic figure, placing the institution under the spell of a single personality, however famous, is neither building from the grassroots up or engagement, however much those ardent and mushy speeches go on about those concepts. What it is, is the go for broke syndrome, find a superstar that the Liberals have been gaming for far too long. The Liberal campaign so far, all tactics and Twitter, mouse clicks and anodynes. For The National, I'm Rex Murphy.